What's up, everybody? Strike Cat here as usual. So this is my week to end video because um, I'm talking about my crazy week to weekend, I guess you could say. Anyways, it is currently October 24th and Halloween is around the corner. And who in, who is excited and who isn't? Who would it be? I'm excited. Then again, it's my favorite holiday. So anyways, back to what I was talking about. Um, so this started October 19th to the, uh, mm -hmm. hold on, 21st. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I say week to end because it kind of started in the week and then it ended in the weekend. But hey, it's all good because it was a really fun, crazy time. So that's what I'm going to talk about a minute into the video. Anyways, <laughs> um, I had to baby or babysit. Wow, he's not a baby. He's like seven years old. I had to watch my cousin on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So after I was done watching another cousin overnight, I drove to go to my other cousin's house because I had to watch him during the day. Well, my one of my brothers was there, Kyler, because he was going to a friend's house, so he was going to get picked up there. But he had to go there because he said that he was going to vacuum the floor. So he did that. And so it was kind of irritating because, I don't know, I just was not in the mood. I was kind of just... It was, it was just, it was one of those days where you're just kind of like irritated with everyone and kind of irritated with yourself in a way. I didn't really know what that meant until my cousin um, explained it to me and then I actually went through it. So, hey, thank you, Jill, for explaining it to me. Otherwise, I kind of just be like, what is wrong with me? But you know what? It happens. Anyways, it was it was just a day where I'm like I'm I'm freaking I'm done. <laughs> and I was actually kind of excited when my cousin got off work. And so anyways, that was it was a long day. I forgot that she gets off at 6 during the week because so, I haven't watched him during the week in a long time. And so I'm like, you should have been off like 45 minutes ago. And then she's like, remember, I worked until six. I'm like, oh, never mind. <laughs> um, but yeah, anyways, my cousin was, he was going to go to a friend's house. He went to a friend's house on Thursday night, got picked up around, about around the time when my Jill got off work. And she had to go to the store to get some stuff. At least that's, I think that's where she went. Ugh, excuse me. And so, that, all that happened. And then, um, since he left, which was like, okay, cool, whatever, you know. <laughs> Bye, have fun. Um, Oh, wait, no, no, never mind. He didn't leave around that time. I knew I was forgetting something. When she got off, okay, while she was working, she was having me help make homemade chicken noodle soup, which turned out to be freaking delicious. Anyways, um, yeah, she did have to go, she did have to go to, a, to the store, and then she came back, or when she left, after we had dinner, um... It was around the time that Brayden was picked up, so I was just home alone for a while. I was like, whatever, okay, I'm just going to go into Netflix and watch Goosebumps or Arl Stein's The Haunting Hour, and I kind of watched both. But then she calls me, and then she's like, get your shoes on and hurry up and get outside or whatever. So I was like, what the heck is going on? And I go outside, and she, I was a complete mess because I ran outside got my shoes on and then I was waiting for a while and I was like you said you were going to be here in a couple minutes and it was really funny because we were both having that day where it's kind of like we're both irritated and just kind of whatever so it was kind of really it was really funny and <laughs> I don't even know but we went and we got cupcakes at this place I don't remember what it's called but it was they were really good cupcakes I got this Reese's cupcake 
she got this like carrot cake cupcake and then she got another cupcake which I don't remember what it was called but that was also delicious because we both were gone we both split that and we got home and we watched the movie Fallen and now I have a new, another book series I have to read called it's a Fallen book series it's about fallen angels and she already got me into the Hush Hush series. I'm already on the third book, and I really love this series so far. It's kind of just been a roller coaster of all the things that's been happening. Anyways, I'm not even going to get into that stuff. But hey, if you think you'd be interested, read it. Or if you don't think so, read it anyways, because I didn't think I was going to be interested in the Hush Hush series. And I actually really love this series so far. So, yeah, there's that. Okay, um... But yeah, after that movie, <laughs> we cooked two bags of popcorn and we both split it between ourselves. It was just nice. <laughs> just eating a whole bunch of junk food. And then she went to bed and so I just kind of watched a couple of different things. And then the next day, since I was just home alone, I was just kind of like doing whatever because she had to go to work that day and... <laughs> her son was at a friend's house. So we kind of just did, I just did whatever. I walked around the unit where she works and I watched TV and I took a nap. It was actually really nice and relaxing. I don't really do that much because I'm always busy doing something. So it's kind of nice to have like a lazy day here and there. But yeah, when she got off, we had to go to the store get a lot of stuff, and it was really late, I'm like, I'm hungry, so we went out to eat for Mexican at Mi Ranchitos, which was really good, and then she gets a call where Brayden's ready to go home, so we left, and I, I mean, after dinner, we left to go pick him up, and then when we got home, everyone basically just went to bed, and then I watched him Saturday, because initially, he was going to stay the night on Friday night too and then she was going to pick him up after work on Saturday but he wanted to come home and so we went to go pick him up and then I watched him Saturday and then uh yeah I, I got a pretty nice paycheck so that's good and I don't know it was just it was fun it was filled with um entertainment definitely a lot of things I mean I definitely wasn't bored that's for sure so hey perks to that one. Alright, and it's getting really long. So let's go to Art of the Day, which is also weird and crazy, but eh, it's different and I like it and it kind of fits with the video. So here's the front side. It's um, the main piece, which is this one, is an extruded form and then this I kind of just wrapped clay and then it kind of looked like a tulip anyway so I made it that way I poked a bunch of the holes and then I took string and I tied it up which I think actually looks really cool and then here's another tulip thing and then here's this I don't even know I think I took a popsicle stick for this I used a popsicle stick to do this part because it's kind of it's indented I can't see it can you tell okay you can tell Alright, and then I took these, and I extruded these, and I just twisted it. Kind of looks like a braid in a way, and it's not. And then I painted this before I scratched into it, which I think looks really cool, by the way. That's just me. And here's the side without the tulip up here. And yeah, there you go. Art of the day. Painted with many different colors, but it looks really cool. I didn't want to clear glaze all of it, I only clear glazed some of it, because I don't think all of it needed clear glazed. Alright, done and done. Wow, this is going to take forever to upload. Um, bye!